Hi, I'm Wayne Wagner and this is Market Vision. Today I want to give you my rationale for why I am optimistic about the state of the economy and the markets at this stage. We're not calling for shoot the moon returns. We're also not seeing the kinds of crises or crashes that some people are predicting out there. Here's why. It comes down to a number of areas, so let's get started. GDP recovery is huge. Historically, when there has been a substantial hit to the economy and GDP falls off, it takes an average of 28 months for GDP to get back to pre-crisis production levels. So if you think about the GDP as a machine that's generating revenue, it usually takes an average of 28 months or about two and a half years for GDP to get back to zero after a crisis or from the before the crisis to after the crisis. Some crises obviously have taken much longer, but the average is about two and a half years. This time, we're back to not just zero, we're back to trend line growth with GDP within 15 months. That is huge and it is very rapid. It's why we're seeing some of the inflationary pressures we talked a lot about in other videos. Now, I see a number of other things that are very encouraging in the economy. First of all, remote working is going to create massive productivity increases throughout our economy. We're taking a lot of white collar workers, especially white and gray collar workers, we're giving them back hundreds of hours a year that they had been spending commuting or trying to get to and from work. We've all embraced video communication much more so than we had a year or two ago. That remote working model is going to cause substantial productivity productivity increases in our economy and productivity increases drive GDP growth. Next, let's talk about small businesses versus big businesses. A lot of folks are concerned about small businesses being the backbone of American, the American economy. That is true, although we're much more a service-oriented economy today than we have been in previous generations. But small businesses versus big businesses. The reality is we know that GDP growth is back. GDP demand, so economic growth, is back in a big, big way. But where is that money getting spent? And so while a lot of Main Street small mom and pop shops have closed during COVID, the economic demand is still there. So the question is, where is the dollar getting spent? The answer is it's getting spent with bigger companies that survived COVID and are now back in a big way. And they, they have cannibalized demand coming through COVID as small businesses closed. So while you and I may not be able to go to the mom and pop restaurant down the street that happened to close, we can go to Chipotle. Well, from an investor perspective, you and I never could own stock in mom and pop restaurant down the road, but we can buy stock in Chipotle. I'm not saying we're going to, this isn't an investment recommendation, but the fact of the matter is the economic balloon has gotten squeezed in favor of big companies and those big companies have stocks that we can buy, that we can participate in. And so that's a big reason why we're seeing the stock market boom. The last thing I'll point out here is this issue of inflation. Everybody's terrified of inflation because they remember runaway inflation under Jimmy Carter. This is not the 1970s all over again. Interest rates are being kept very, very low. Some would even say artificially low by the Fed. But here's the issue with inflation. Inflation pushes asset prices up. Here's a secret. Stocks are assets. And so when inflation pushes asset prices up, it's also going to bolster the stock market in that process. Now, obviously we need to stay diligent to things like diversification, not getting overexposed, re-examining risk tolerance perhaps, especially if you're retired or nearing retirement. But the fact of the matter is, for all of these reasons, I'm actually pretty optimistic about where the U.S. economy is going. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions on this or any other issue, as always, please give us a call. 
here at Visionary Wealth Management, we are always here with perspective for the decisions ahead. If this has been helpful, please tag a friend or pass it on to somebody you think it might help.